Fresh Kid Z, Fresh Kid C, yes, Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zap Boom, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> if you had an hour to go before tip-off for a Clemson basketball game, would you want to be here? Or here? Clemson needs to switch back to a first-come, first-serve take distribution for basketball games. Today, I'm going to tell you why. The first reason is because it builds camaraderie between students and fans. The second reason is because it really isn't that much more of a hassle for the ticket distribution office to take care of. And the third reason is because it's the best way to get the most loyal and diehard fans right here before every game. Let's first start with how it builds camaraderie between students and fans. According to BleachReport.com, Duke University is the toughest place to play college basketball in America. It also just so happens that Duke University has a strict first come, first serve basis. Duke also builds camaraderie between fans before each game by having events such as the t-shirt toss, barbecues, and karaoke. These serve as both rewards and incentives to help get fans out there before each game. Duke also, outside of the normal games, has a camp out for the biggest game of the year, their case, UNC. For this, they get out there a month before the game and they create a village called Kville between fans and students with tents, grills, and events. Now that we understand how first come, first serve policy would help build anticipation for each game, let's talk about how easy it would be for Clemson University to set up. According to Clemson University's ticket distribution office, one of the main problems would be controlling how many tickets are available for just how many kids are camped out. One way to fix this problem is to have every student register with line monitors from the ticket distribution office before every game. This should be pretty easy for Clemson University since our ticket office is right there. If we register, ticket, and make these students attend daily attendance checks, like Duke, then there should be no problem keeping track of the amount of tickets left for each game. Even after all the tickets are given out, students who missed out but still wish to attend the game may have the opportunity. Like UNC, if a ticket has not been scanned five minutes prior to tip-off, the next person in line will be allowed in. Yes, signing tickets online would let us know how many tickets are still available, but what if this year's average of 300 ticketed no-shows continues in the future? Finally, let's talk about how this system is the best way to get the most diehard and loyal fans into each game. According to our current Clemson University ticket distribution policy, you receive points before the season starts depending on which class you're in. After that, for every game you attend, you receive more points. For every game you miss but don't register, your points do the same. If you register for a game and receive a ticket, however don't show, you get negative points. That's a great system to show overall loyalty. However, what if Chris Servin, a diehard Duke and Clemson fan since he was five years old, has to miss a game at the beginning of the year because of an exam? Should Chris be penalized and then have a significantly lower chance of attending a game later on in the season because of that? Better yet, what if 20 PGM students or 100 engineering students are on a co-op first semester and they miss four to six games depending on how long they're gone? Should those students then be penalized for missing out on those games and not reach a game later in the year. So in conclusion, we have seen why a first come, first serve camping out policy is a better alternative than our current lottery system. It builds the most anticipation and camaraderie before games for fans and students. It really isn't that much of a hassle to set up and figure out. And it brings the most loyal and diehard fans out to each game. Now after hearing that, grab your tent, grab your grill, and let's get out here.